Hi, thanks for joining me. My name's Todd. I'm the owner of Specialist Machinery and we're the Australian and New Zealand agent for Colton Park. I'd like to discuss today regarding um, if your fabrication workshop is not considering synchronising the shot blasting and beamline together and working both machines in lights out automation, perhaps you should be. Let's investigate how um, investing in a fully automatic beamline and shot blasting machines synchronised together uh, will lower the cost of ownership uh, than a cheaper beamline specified to a still service centre's performance outcome. So what I'm actually saying there is maybe spending three times the amount on a, a fully automatic beamline and a shot blasting machine and making more money and having a lower cost of ownership than it would cost you to uh, buy either a straight beamline or a, or a traditional beamline and a traditional uh, shot blasting machine and having two guys uh, work both those machines. So recently it was agreed uh, that a fabricator in Australia has committed to Kaldenbach and get out and make the shot blasting, or let's just call them Kaldenbach, um, as a partner for the first fully automated, fully automated beamline and shot blasting machine to be commissioned in the country. Okay, so that's a big deal. Um, uh, when reviewing the finance cost uh, of both machines put together, fully automated, hamburger with a lot, nothing left off the specification, um, and then including 20% of labour, and that labour um, is calculated on a 24 hour a day, six day a week, um, um, uh, and they just need to do material handling with hopefully the side loader, or at worst, the overhead crane. Um, so just for the finance for both those fully automated machines and 20% of labour, and working the uh, machine at a very conservative rate. Let's not talk tonnage. Let, 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 let's just talk uh, uh, the beam line uh, will go at, as a minimum 30 metres a minute. Now, that means fully automated machining, layout marking, uh, drilling, uh, band sawing, um, compound uh, um, uh, machining for uh, minor cutting that the band saw can't do every single function of the machine working lights out automation. So let's be conservative. Uh, that turned out to be for the finance of the labor $4.66 a meter. Uh, obviously if you're doing more meters, it'll, the price will come down. Um, and uh, um, like I said, on 30 meters now, the client that uh, has invested in the machine, he said for his profiles and with um, superior tooling and graphite shank and really spending uh, a lot of money on the tool and possibly using the carbide blade, but we don't believe you'll need it because the band saw is three times faster than a steel service center's traditional 19 milli uh, hydraulic pull down uh, uh, band saw. Uh, he's suggesting that they will do, um, what was it, oh, 45 up to 50 meters an hour. But look, we, we can supply time studies to, um, uh, to your profiles to really drill down to what you can expect. So, um, we, uh, he then uh, decided um, uh, if he was to buy just a single beam line and just a single shot blasting machine, he believes he'd be able to uh, charge up both those machines for $400 an hour, but he would need labor to drive those machines and drive profiles through both those machines, which is a redundant process when purchasing machines from Caldenbach through SNS. So now when you work out a charge out rate of $800 an hour, um, uh, you know, and you've saved 30 meters an hour, um, you know, that's a charge out rate of $27 a meter, but that includes your processing, shot blasting, uh, automation, complex coping, milling, layout marking on all four sides, drilling, tapping, bandsaw, uh, automatic material handling, but you've got to give up 20% labor. Um, this would allow the following margin to be one. So an ROI would be less than one year. Um, you know, obviously if you had 24 six uh, working on the machine. Um, Cuddleback has these synchronized machines that are working in several locations around the world. Uh, we recently took this client to the Netherlands um, because uh, that was a great installation. Um, uh, Cuddleback uh, you know, just clearly been performing there for several years. 
but it was interesting because I also had this fabric had also had a, Con, a Zeman Conti Plus, which is a, um, a great machine which you can uh, what is it you can fabricate 92 profiles in 23 hours with 1,104 add-on parts. So four profiles an hour with 12 add-on parts or four profiles an hour with uh, 48 uh, add-on parts, 12 add-on parts of profile, uh, 1,100 add-on parts in 23 hours, fabricated only. Uh, we can see that machine as well, but this guy was actually welding out on it because he said, gosh, my, my steel has been uh, clean and is a shot glass and so he was very comfortable to uh, uh, fabricate and weld which was just a fantastic installation. Now if you add up uh, $300,000 uh, $300, worth of labour um, uh, per year per machine uh, over 10 years uh, that's six million dollars <laughs> worth of um, uh, labour that you're putting on these machines my goodness you can you can buy several Zemans for that so why don't we try and uh, save you on the labour where it's really expensive, not only on your machines, but also on your workshop bench. Because when you look at um, these uh, cheap machines uh, that the steel service centres are committed in buying, you might think, wow, you know, I've been buying steel from the steel service centre. He uses this really cheap sort of well-known brand machine. Um, uh, he's never really used a, a complicated machine with additional capability, so he doesn't really know what he's missing out on there. He's not committed in slowing down his machine to add uh, additional capability like layout marking. Uh, but you know, we've got other case studies there that you can review, which will demonstrate how the fabricator will pick up 40% of his uh, workshop bench um, when investing in a machine from um, specialist machinery sales through Carbon Up. So uh, the numbers soon stack, up, so soon stack up. It depends on how many fitters you're uh, employing. Um, let's hope your uh, workshop can have 10 fitters on the um, day shift and 10 on afternoon shift, which is uh, quite common uh, for, most, uh, for, for several Australian workshops who are considering a beam line. Um, so looking at this case study behind me here, um, and the beam line and the shop glassing machine in full automation mode with 20% labor um, for loading and unloading uh, both machines, so loading the uh, shop glassing machine and unloading the uh, uh, beam line. Uh, the machine uh, finance cost and labour is 3360 The total uh, a day, um, the total cost of ownership uh, for a minimum budget of 720 metres a day of processing shop glassing uh, will be uh, $140 an hour uh, or $4.66 a metre. The charge out rate, $800 uh, per 24 hours. So, gee, this guy's uh, pretty bullish, uh, suggesting he can earn uh, over $19,000 a day. That's $100,000 a week. It, it, it does seem a lot to me, but he can. Uh, he, he feels quite confident that the market is paying that now. Um, and then, uh, obviously, 24-6, 300 days a year without the public holidays is uh, $5.7 million worth of income. So... Um, you know, if he is uh, maybe working one shift for himself and contracting out the balance, the fabricator will definitely give him work. He's going to say, gosh, I've got a fully shot glass and machine here, a profile. I've got all this capability that the steel service center simply doesn't have the beam line to do that. They prefer a machined edge and a plasma cut edge that has all this dross. And, you know, you definitely need labor running a plasma cutting machine or a coping robot. So this fabricator is saying, well, even if I don't have enough work for my machine, I'll contract out the additional capacity and he's going to do very, very nicely. Um, um, and then uh, if you look at the uh, competitor beam line, and, uh, which is still service centre purchases, uh, you can, uh, and, and the same, same capacity, uh, $1,000 a day for the finance cost, uh, the labour at $75 an hour, which I included at 20%, will be $1,800 a day. Um, so uh, you're now up to $1,800 a day, which is basically the cost of the beam line. Okay. We, uh, we haven't uh, included, uh, sorry, and then 40% of labour to finish up the profiles with only 10 fiddles. Uh, so you know, being, being, being quite conservative there, I did say it'd be great to have 20, but let's just work it on 10. So you can save $5,400 a day there. And then if you contract, at, contract shop glassing, it's $400 an hour. Um, 
please check that number. I'm not 100% sure if you know, that you know, it's between three to four, I would have thought. Um, and at two metres an hour, uh, 24 hours a day, one to three profiles can be processed. So it's a little bit more difficult to uh, uh, calculate this. Uh, perhaps 3,840, but if you were to buy a, you know, three or 400,000 euro shot blasting machine, you've got the finances there, um, finance cost and extra labour to run that in your workshop. So either way, um, the numbers are looking very attractive for what we're considering. So the total cost of ownership uh, to do it um, uh, with um, a traditional beam line with a lot of labour and contracting out your shot blasting would be uh, um, $12,000 a day, um, $500 an hour or $16 a, a, a metre. So uh, look, figures can lie, lies can figure. Uh, we have to do our own maths. These are no guaranteed numbers. These are uh, a conversation to um, discuss and get time studies, and and uh, you know we, we, we're not we're, we're not accountants. Uh, um, these are please challenge our numbers. So uh, the income from the beam line at four hundred dollars an hour, nine thousand six hundred dollars a day minus the twelve thousand uh, dollars, which is a true cost of ownership. So there's a net loss there of two thousand four hundred dollars. So why would a fabricator be investing in a traditional beam line, which the true cost of ownership means that they will be uh, dropping two and a half thousand dollars a day. They don't know that yet. They're going to soon find out when uh, the accountant says, look, these numbers just aren't adding up. Uh, they're going to be pushing steel out on the site and reviewing their numbers at the uh, end of the project and just going, why are we going backwards here? We thought we'd be buying a machine and going, you know, moving forward. Um, worst case scenario, this is why we see a lot of uh, fabricators with a 20 grand noose around the neck a month and uh, uh, not one client of SMS has ever gone into administration. Not one client of SMS has ever wanted to sell a beam line we've been the Australian agent for. So uh, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're very proud of that and uh, we certainly plan that we certainly plan for that to continue. In fact, the fabricators that have bought beam lines from us have ended up being uh, uh, leaders in their space. And that, the, the, the best way to uh, describe that is uh, these fabricators, uh, uh, their natural competitors before they invested in that machine have ended up driving the bus, so to speak, in a different direction because they simply haven't been able to compete with uh, clients of SMS. So that's probably the best testimony that my business has got to say that the clients who uh, uh, listen listen to our advice and challenge our commentary, uh, go through a robust um, um, evaluation uh, process with time studies and software demonstrations before we even go and look at a machine. Let's, let's not go anywhere. We can do a lot um, just sitting where we are. Um, if we all do our job well and, and uh, not go and buy the machine that the Steel Service Centre purchased, uh, which is good for his business model, definitely isn't good for a fabricator. So let's look at combining the shot blasting machine and the uh, fabric uh, and the beam line. Uh, you will probably be the first person in your state to do that. There's a lot of uh, uh, opportunity for the early adopter. Uh, we've certainly helped a lot of early adopters make a lot of money. And let's hope that's your business next. Thanks so much for your time. And please uh, consider the other case studies on this subject matter. Thanks so much.